Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Morning, everybody. Welcome. This is yet another Friday edition for Wake Up Nigeria. Now, they say happiness is achieved when you stop waiting for it and make the most of the mm. moment that you are in right now. That's why it's called a present mm. because it is a gift. Oh, that was so poetic. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the final day of the work week. Fridays are the best for a lot of reasons. Now, as a reminder that the weekend is here, woohoo! Of course, we're gonna get our groove on, yes? Absolutely. But then it's just one more day of the traffic. Uh, one you, more day of the You will get through that one, don't you worry, and that's yeah. why we're here. So, whether you guys are out on a commute or just grudgingly getting out of bed, I know the feeling. Remember, you're so close to being yeah. done with the work week. But if you need one final boost, one final giddy up to one get your day done kick. oh well get you through to the weekend uh well you're not alone we've got you covered right here on the number one premium breakfast show wake up night absolutely we're going to be joined by mike in just a minute but i yeah. wanted to tell you about my very unusual morning uh, here i am driving to work and saying to myself hmm it's been a while since i had a flat tire <laughs> no signs <laughs> nothing whatsoever <laughs> i promise you no signs wow and then Less than a kilometer after or two. Wow. Early in the morning. And that sound, you didn't do the sound well. Which one? Do it again. You did. And then there's and then, a... That's the sound I was talking about. <laughs> so I had to change a tire this morning. And it was it was like, yeah, there's a story to that, but I'll tell you that. But I made it here. Always give a little bit of allowance and space yeah. for a flat tire is my new motto. <laughs> I at least know how to change one. That yeah. goes to you. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> My name is Titi Lyo Oyinson. My name is Mazino Peel. Remember, you guys can yeah, stream the show live at tvcentertainment.tv and also on Facebook at TVC Entertainment. Yes, download our app for Android and iOS. Send in your comments, contributions, prayers, pictures, anything you want to send in. Just send it and tag us at TVC Entertainment underscore. Yeah. But thank you guys for seeing us live on Channel 16 for Go TV, and of course 49, the UHF option is also one-to-one -one for start times and any yeah. other means with yeah. which you see us, we'll tell you one more just in a bit. Mm. At this point, we're live on YouTube, search for TVC Entertainment, and look out for the cute people behind the orange background. Yeah, <laughs> wake up Nigeria. Yeah, just look for us right there. We are live. And a very, very... Ex, uh, yeah, yeah, your ex. Yeah. We're on there. When are we going to stop saying formerly known as Twitter? Uh, Let's just stop already. No. It's X. X is X. Mm -mm. I, I'm, I'm in denial. Okay. You're <laughs> such a millennial. <laughs> We case. have quite a bit coming your way. Yes, we do. Now, last weekend, uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, we had the Oscars. And we're going to be looking at some movies uh, across the Oscar winners for 2024. We're in a race against the Nazis. And I know what it means. And then on fashion today, we have Yetunde Akande. Now, she is the creative director behind Yet Rolene. You guys get to see her. We talk to her about her business and what's been happening and what uh, new projects she might have. Yay! Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Friday Good edition. There's something that we forgot to do because it's game day. And it's okay. mid of the month, yeah. Yes, yeah, so. Good to see how you, many, Mike. How many, how many days in March? A uh, 31. Okay. Why? You don't sing this song? Uh, 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 no, I, I, well, for March I know because I was born in March. So. Oh, okay. oh, but you get to sing this song. Always. always. How many days always. in August? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sing this song. <laughs> Wait, hey, that's just no, no, no. Wait, 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 what someone said? It, it's so bad that sometimes when you want to remember the order of the alphabet, you have to actually sing through all 26 letters. Mm. Uh, so where does G go? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Because yeah, 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 yeah. What comes yeah. after G? You and then, H. And then it actually, you know, if you tried reading the letter backwards. Ah, uh, that's, uh, ooh, <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Like, I don't think I can do that now. No, I think there's just a point in time where some things are less important and your brain just compartmentalizes yeah. some stuff. Some yeah. stuff. So but especially like spelling. Come. Okay. Yeah. Spelling. spelling words. There's some words that just I don't know, like the word there. Mm. Like there, like their own. Mm -hmm. yeah, there and, and there. there. There, and I, I, don't, I don't even know whether it's I, E, or E, I. Oh, so it depends on what you use. <laughs> there has to be about location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there, there has to be about uh, a plural. Yeah. When you're talking to a group. So that's it a difference. 
T H E I R. T H E R E. You're thinking I E. No, it's I know. E I. It happens, it happens. Okay. <laughs> but fun, silly story from this morning. Remember, I started by telling about the fact that I had to change a tire this morning. Oh. I think my mind just made it happen. Oh. It wasn't, I just said to myself, yeah. Last day of the week, I'm going to work. Oh, it's been a jolly one since so far. Mm. Woohoo. Yeah. What if today of all days I have a flat tire? Nah, never gonna happen. Less than a kilometer. And you know how short a kilometer? Less than a kilometer. No signs prior. Yeah. Pfft, flat wow. Tire. Yeah. I get wow. into the service lane, get into a, a fueling station. Where was this? This is after Oshodi, thank goodness. Uh, what time? This is about 5, 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. 5 a.m. in the morning. Just like exactly 5 a.m. in the morning. So got, got into the fueling station, and then two gentlemen, I will call gentlemen. them gentlemen at the start, <laughs> walk up to me, and I thought that, oh, I was like, thank goodness, help. Mm. No, they were there to just uh, talk about the how lucky I was that it wasn't your shitty. <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate. That alone is worth it, I say. No wahala, no wahala, no, I'm, I'm, I'm man enough. Okay. Changed my tire and everything, mm. and then I said to myself, mm, for the fact that they kept me company, let me just give them something. I looked in, inside of my door, a little pouch there, and I brought out 500 naira. There was more, but I'm like, Let's give them 500 naira. So yeah. I gave the gentleman 500 naira, and then he accepted it with grudge, looked at it, and said, oh God, but there's two of us here. <laughs> did, did, they help like, did they help you? Uh, no. No. Not a single, you not a single banner was picked. They just observed you. It's not like yes, they provided me security because I was already inside the fueling station. Wait, wait. No, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. So, no, you uh, can't. When he, he complained, and my first, my first Mazino reaction is, mm was supposed to be, oh God, what did you do? <laughs> and I'm like, nope, nope, it's, it's going to be a positive day, I'm going to start it out right. And I smiled and I said, oh God, turn me upside down, shake me, nothing else will come out. He's like, hey, but I can't do that now. If I know I was going to have a flat tire, I'm like, if I knew I was going to have a flat tire. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Let's resist, let's resist this I, I was over, it, it was an overwhelming, mm. I, how can you be so entitled to uh, well, something noting my despair? There's no, Titi don't even start to. You, no, if you were no, there no, in that no, situation. No, she was about to be. Because yes, you're not was. there in that situation. So you cannot, you don't know what is going through too no, many so minds. So, so I, let's I, just leave I it. I know Mazino and I'm, ah. I'm, I'm extremely proud of you. That I didn't Let's just calm. leave it. Yeah. yeah and thankfully yeah. it wasn't raining. There's no pride. Yeah. Yeah. I will stay calm there. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it, the, the situation around you, you stay calm. You stay calm. calm you. I, I thank goodness that I stay calm. Thank you very much. As against my natural. Uh, um, wait, wait, what do you want to do? I'm just putting somebody's head up. But in any case, oh. tell you what, it's going to be a grand day. Yeah. Nonetheless, no matter the weather, whatever the instance, yeah. we're going to make sure that we have fun and set your Friday and indeed your weekend off right. Let's do the weather for now, and then there's more Wake Up Nigeria coming your way, and it's going to be... It's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and good morning. It's time for a news update right here on Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Titalaya Oinson. Thank you for joining us. And we are staying with developments in Taraba State, where police have recovered seven bodies of suspected travelers, comprising five women, a baby, and a man after an attack on a bus by a suspected vigilante group. The Commissioner of Police, David Iloyomwon, in a statement, said his men found the seven bodies in the bush while on patrol to ease the rising tension between the Ichen and Tiv ethnic groups in the Donga local government area of the state. This comes in the wake of an attack on 18-seater bus which was targeted in an ambush in Gamkwe village within the Donga local government area of the state on Tuesday. The vehicle was traveling from Zakibiam in Benue State to Maihula in the Bali local government area of Taraba, where it was intercepted by the suspected vigilante members. Away from Taraba State to Zamfara State, where troops of Operation Hadari Daji have rescued two toddlers and five women including nursing mothers from bandit enclaves in the state. The victims, who were rescued after two months in captivity, are natives of Maranje village in Kagara local government area of Niger State. They were abducted on January 24, 2024, in their hometown, Niger State. The information officer of Operation Hadari Daji, Lieutenant Suleiman Omale, says the success follows the operation by the troops at Kuyambana Forest. Now, Kuyambana Forest in Zamfara is one of the areas the bandits have several camps and hideouts. 
This is the second time in three days troops of Operation Hadar Indaji rescued hostages from the enclave. The First Lady, Senator Uluremi Tinubu, has restated her call for stiffer penalties for kidnappers in the country. She spoke while receiving in her office the State House the senators representing the three senatorial districts in Lagos State. Senator Uluremi Tinubu appealed to the lawmakers to prioritize enacting security-related laws to stem the tide of crime. Earlier, the leader of the delegation, Senator representing Lagos East and Chairman Senate Committee on Banking and Finance, who was also recently elected as Chairman of the Southern Senators Forum, Senator Adetu Kumbo Abiru, says that the reforms of President Bola Tinubu are on course to putting the nation on solid footing of economic well-being and lasting prosperity. Will be here. So this is, you know, Lagos coming to the state house, and I it gladdens my heart. It's like we're at war. Yeah. That's what it <clears> is because you know there are various things that you know would lead to something. We're at war with all these people coming to pick our children. Yeah. So I want to see the national assembly taking a more robust stand. That you know this has to be, you know. Uh, capital punishment should, should, should be in place. There is a lot to learn from our experience, and that is a, a, essentially what we have tried to do. And part of the guidance she's given us today is also uh, <clears throat> some of the um, current concerns in the larger economy. We know that um, the current leadership of the country, as um, uh, led by His Excellency the President, President Joshua Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, is to, I mean, to bring about economic growth and also correct most of the distortions that you will say we, we've had in our macroeconomic. And that's all we have time for when it comes to the news for this hour. We still have more coming your way after this break. Now, if anyone knows us on a Friday, they know that we do what we can to bring some fashion options to you, especially since it's almost the weekend. Oh, it's the weekend already, right? Friday is the weekend. You might be looking for something special to put on, wear, try out over the weekend when you're going for your oh, I'm there. or maybe just going to hang out with friends. Today on Fashion, we have Yetunde Akonde. She is the creative director of Yetro's Lane. Welcome to the show. Hi, Titi, thank you. Yetro's Lane, okay. <laughs> the name is, I don't know, I don't know how to describe the, lane, uh, the name really. Okay. I, don't, I don't know how to qualify it. You need to explain where that name came from. Okay, so it's a combination of my name. Okay. My first name and the middle name. So my okay. first name is Yetunde. Okay. Middle name is Rosemary. Okay. And then the fashion lane. So I just picked like the fashion first, lane. yeah. Yet Rose lane. lane. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you. Uh, you're prob there's probably going to be a Yet Rose Lane some someday somewhere. Um, a street, a whole street named oh, after yeah, the absolutely. fashion lane. <laughs> That's some prophecy right there. But I'm wondering about what types of fashion you decided to focus on. Talk to us. Okay, so basically I just... Um, so basically, the Yetro's Lane Fashion Hub actually does like two main things, okay. right? Um, we're into ready to wear contemporary designs for women, okay. right? And then we also um, incorporate the zero waste policy into our production process. Zero so, waste? Yes, zero waste okay. policy into okay. our production process. So if you're looking for something you can wear casually, mm -hmm. um, Yetro's Lane is your best bet. Okay. I used to go into the bespoke, you know, Ashra B thing yeah, before, yeah. but I just had to pick ready to wear over okay. that. Okay. Yeah. I'm seeing some really colorful pieces here, mm -hmm. and this is mostly Ankara I'm seeing so far. Mm -hmm. um, what sort of fabric is this? On the silk. Screen? Silk. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. So uh, now these look very comfortable, uh, fashionable, things you could wear, you know, to church, but you could also wear them to see someone, to, to also wear them to a party. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if you have specific demands from your customers. What exactly do they request for the most? Um... So when you hear Yetro's Lane, I love colors. I love to make women look confident, regardless okay. of their body type sure. or their skin tone. Okay. So what I do is most of my target markets are majorly, you know, women, you know, that probably have one or two mm. um, things they're trying to hide, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. So my designs are just made to suit any body type. 
Okay. So that's like the focus. So all of our designs come from a place of what are the needs of these customers. Mm. So that's how I come about the designs. And one thing about our designs are, is that they are timeless, timeless yeah. pieces. Yeah. The, from the choice of fabrics, they're timeless. So you can have a piece. I have customers that have had our piece for over six years. Mm. You know, and they still tired, go back to it. Of course, we yeah. make them timeless while still being trendy, but not yeah. too trendy focused. Yeah. You know, but more of. Um, so um, I love colors. I love comfort. Uh, and of course, there are always a few things you want to hide here and there. Yeah. There, I don't know if people out there know the areas <laughs> I like to hide whenever I'm dressing for Wake Up Nigeria. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, if, maybe if you pinpoint, just tag us online and let me know. But let's see some of your pieces. Now we have two on display uh, right now in the studio. We have some very colorful pieces here. Uh, now let's take piece number one. The first one, uh, in my, I think it's Ashoki, right? That's Ashoki. Yes. All right, talk to us about this. I, I have a feeling it has something to do with your, um, your need to provide comfort, right? Talk yes. to us. Um, okay, so that piece is actually made from Anwoven. So Yetro's Lane is actually um, moving towards the um, sustainability side of fashion. Okay. And that's why I mentioned the zero waste policy mm. in our production process. So this actual okay is one of the um, pieces in that um, category. Zero because waste. It's hand yeah, hand -woven. It's woven. Okay. And the essence is for it to be sustainable. And that's why even our designs are very versatile. You know, so you can wear that for a very long time. You extend the, the, the life of the um, clothing. Yeah. So this is handwoven Asha, okay? And of course, I love colors. I love prints. My customers love colors. African women actually, I mean, we love colors. Yeah, sure. You know, sure, so, um, yeah, that's our, um, so this is made from Asha, okay? So right now, I have to, in comparison with the amount of ashoke it would take for me to do gele and ikbele, <laughs> okay. how much ashoke is this? Is this one full gele and one full uh, shoulder? Scarf? Um, yes. It's about yes. the same Just amount. One, yes, like a one, one, bundle. one bundle. One yes. bundle. One bundle can make this. Can make this, yes, which is can. actually sustainable. So, for instance, if somebody gave me ashoke <laughs> for a, a wedding, I could okay. just decide <laughs> to, to, convert you know, it. to convert it to mm. something like this. Yeah, right? sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You can. Uh, there's a little cur curve uh, in the ashoke stripe. Yeah. I don't know, was that part of the plan or? Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so, so I don't do regular. Okay. There's always something mm. unique about my pieces. Okay. There might be, you know, I mean, it's Danshiki. Any, mm. Everybody knows Danshiki. It's, yeah. it's a design that is um, widely known, but yeah. there has to be something different, different about whatever it is I'm doing. And that's why we just have that cut, you know, let's just do something okay. um, not regular. Not regular. Yeah. And it looks really special, I have to say. And I love Thank the fact you. that it's dark. It's a dark color, meaning that it can just fit with almost any occasion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lens I love it. Now, um, I think also leaning on your sustainability uh, area here is the other uh, outfit you have beside it. That's Ankara. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, it looks like a combination of different fabrics. Talk to us about that. Okay. So, um, for the sustainable side of our um, fashion, what we do is all our waste, we try to, you know, make them into another fabric and they yeah. come out really colorful. Um, but for this one, um, this is actually quite versatile because it's looking like a top, like a blouse, but yeah. it's actually a jacket. Oh. You know, so you can actually zip it down. Uh, can I step there and, <laughs> and zip it down? What do you think? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe okay. I'll do that in a bit. Oh, okay. So it goes all the way down, like a all jacket? All the way down. So you can turn into a kimono. Kimono. And then you can, you can just, Fantastic. you know, close it up depending on your mood yeah. and how you love to style it. And then I have a bit of the ashoki detail, yeah. um, you know, just to on give it some, yes, and at the back, actually. So you there's know, so. ashoki at the back and there's ashoki tassels on the uh, right uh, knee Towards there. the M, yeah. It looks really nice. I love it. Now, what sort of sleeve is this? Uh, what do you call this type of sleeve that you yeah. have? It's, it's a ruffle sleeve? Um, it's no. not a ruffle. It's a free sleeve. Yes, it's flared. Mm. So, you know, there's also a lot, there are also a lot of women who have a lot to hide up here. Yeah. Um, so, for instance, I'm, I'm not a fan of anything that's going to grab me uh, okay. at my arm because I feel like it makes me look puffy, for instance. I'm okay. sharing too much, aren't I? Mm. <laughs> but um, okay. I love the way the sleeve is because it looks very comfortable and yeah. it looks like anyone with uh, you know, challenges in that particular area will feel up. comfortable in that. And you're also wearing a very colorful piece. You made oh, this? Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> is this Ankara as well? Yeah, it's Ankara. All right. Yeah. Three, or is it four? Three different colored Ankara here. Okay, so this Ankara came this way. It, it wasn't It wasn't joined, but we also, we also create things like this with our um, off-cuts from yeah. textile waste yeah. and actually make this up. 
I love this. And I'm definitely going to be looking out for Yetro's Lane. I believe that's what I need to look for on social media. Yes, yeah, Yetro's right. Lane. And I also mentioned that we do other things yeah. in the empowerment sector. So we have a fashion academy where we empower youths in the state oh. to become employable. So we partner with different organizations, both local and international. UNDP, um, um, BOI, we partner with a lot of them to actually um, um, empower youths in the state. So we have a fashion academy where we train them on the technical aspect and also the business of fashion as well. I honestly feel like there's <laughs> loads to learn from you because uh, the way you broke down exactly how your fashion label is, I'm all, already so interested in finding out more. I'll be checking you out online. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to talk My to pleasure. us. My pleasure. Thank you. There's still quite a bit more happening right here on Wake Up Nigeria. And uh, Mazino is acting like he can cook. I'm not acting. Um, I don't I'm know. not acting. I, I actually you are can. acting. It's been three and a half years being here in Wake Up Nigeria. What do you think yourself? I mean, I definitely have learned plenty from all our chefs that come here on a daily. If I haven't learned, I've eaten their food. And so, hey, at least something's going down. Um, Chef T Flo in the house again. Yay! T Flo, how are you doing? I'm fine. Good morning. Grand, yes. Okay, so I see what's that fufu or semu? <coughs> what is it? This is fufu. That's fufu. So since we have fufu already, I guess we're making a soup this morning. You guys can join in and also be a part of it. Uh, we'll teach you how to make eforiro. Yes, special. Am I correct? Special eforiro. It's special because it's being put together by Chef T Flo. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. let's take a look at all the ingredients that we have here. First off, front and center. And of course, to start with the show, I see some pomo and um, rishi <laughs> in here. But we've also got some rice. So I'm wondering if we've got swallow, why do we <coughs> need rice? Chef, no, Tito, what's going the vegetable, on? Vegetable, I'm making vegetable with white rice. Either the white rice, you're using white rice or fufu. Ah, okay. So, so we can use it two. for swallow or we can use it for the white rice. Um, we've got blended pepper and tomatoes here, yeah? Yes, this is uh, We've got our dadawa, yeah. salt and broth. Stock. Stock. It's stock for yeah. the meat. Uh, dried fish, two kinds of dried fish. What's the difference? This is stock here? fish. This is small fish. What's the difference? Hmm? Stock fish. Yes, this is small fish. Okay. So I'm, I'm still trying to, what's the difference between stock fish and It's different fish? now. This is, uh, the there is the okay. taste. And that is uh, a different kind of fish uh, yeah. from this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the round ones they sell yes. in markets yes. here. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. And this is that long, hard, thick one. Not Spoken. a big fan, but hey, t is making it, so I'm going to like it. Uh, what are these spices? These are my special spices. Yeah, tell us now. Mm. No, 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 no. What do you mm. tell us? Is it, it's not like as if we can't mm. find it in the market. No, no, you can't find it. This is, this is <laughs> these made chefs by and no, their no, secret no, no. spices. No, no, Come no, no, on. No, 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 in no, any no, case, no. we'll keep it secret just so that mm. it has that special <coughs> orientation. Okay. This is uh, this is acid. These are okay. This is my crayfish. Crayfish. This is my special spices. A special. Yes, and this. Yeah, I made it myself. <laughs> this is made of <laughs> atako. Um, okay. I can uh, smell that. I can smell yes. that. Alligator mm. pepper, ginger, garlic, curry. It's strong. Yeah. It's a strong smell. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. So, what are we going to do first? Um, our vegetable, I guess, is definitely going to be one of the last things. It's washed. That our... is washed. We're washing what now? It's washed already. Okay. It's washed already. Okay. Yeah. Fine. And then we're having we we, we have the some water, water on this the, uh, table. Um, sorry, on the fire or yeah. on heat. So, um, first off, this is, we're making it for breakfast yes. because we've got rice here. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make it for lunch or dinner, then you can swallow. So, I guess that's the way we're going to separate the two. Yeah. Um, uh, what else should we know about this meal, please? Is there anything else we should know about the meal? Is it nutritious? Is it great? It's nutritious. Um, it's a, a special yes, it's, yeah, for you. Can you for a party, mm -hmm. a birthday, a garden, a family dinner party? Okay, yeah. fantastic. So in a minute, we're going to get started once our water is of the right temperature. And we're going to bring you back in here to see what exactly or how each uh, uh, ingredient is going to go through. I don't know if we have our ingredients so we can show everybody so they see exactly what they need. But I'll run it through for you here. Some assorted meat, some onions, dried fish, two different kinds. We've got our seasoning. Of course, rice and dadawa. Dadawa has a very mm. strong smell. Mm. So will we still be able to smell it when the food is... Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Still be able to smell it, yeah? Yes. And that's the... That's that's not processed in any way. That's raw dadawa. Yes, it's raw dadawa. Are we going to blend it or anything? I'm not blending it. We're not blending. So we'll still be able to see it inside of the yeah. food you know, tangibly. And of course, some broth. Is that fish or meat broth? This is meat. It's raw meat, yeah? yes? All right, fantastic. So those are all the ingredients that you need. Ah, let's not forget our vegetable. What kind exactly? Shoko. Shoko. Yes. All right. Well, and can we use any other kind of? Yeah, you can mix it with ugu. 
Mix it with ugu. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So there you have it. You know everything that we're cooking with today, right here in front of you for the Kitchen for Wake Up Nigeria. When you get back, we might have already started some processes, but we'll let you know step by step, uh, step by step, how far we've gone. And of course, at the end of the show, we always put together the kitchen segment and put it on YouTube. If you have the notification bell wrong, then definitely you're going to be seeing the process in one you know, continuous uh, reel. So join us then on YouTube. But for now, let's take you through what's happening inside of the kitchen. Don't go anywhere. Still more inside of Wake Up Nigeria uh, coming your way. Uh, we'll be back. She's doing okay. She's so many ways I can right. interpret this, whether I can cook, whether I can't cook, whether I've <laughs> been given a hand or not. But hey, it's okay. But you're welcome in any case. Thank yeah. you. Because she's frying oil. Yeah, and you're not a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, so you're not pushing it towards the oil? I, Mazino and oil, are, nah, we don't, yeah. we don't go yeah, together. You're like oil and water. But Chef T-Flo, so we bleached our oil. Did we really bleach it far? Did not really. Much? Not really. Not really. Not really. No, not really. Just fried it. Just fried. Just, fried. just yeah. a little. And then you've added so our onions. The onions. That's a lot of onions, by the way. Yes. Mm. Ah. The lamy they can't eh? Special ah. vegetables. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Are you not a fan of onions? Huh? I, I heard. Uh -huh. I heard that onion is really expensive. expensive. We absolutely need No, onion. it's cheap now. It's cheap now? Yeah. Really? Thank you, Jesus. In I think Nigeria. bag of uh, onions now is like Something. 30k. Are you no. serious? That's still quite I have, Yes, I have a customer. So. You have a customer, so you link us up later. Exactly. Yeah, please. So uh, if you want to go to the market, take Chef T Flow special code yeah. for onions. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> T Flow 23, 24. Yeah, please. let's so put it so. <laughs> What are you doing with the vegetables there? I'm just steaming it. That's just oil, yeah? Yes, without oil. Steaming. Oh, sorry, that's yeah. just water then. Just no. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, because I thought that the, uh, the, the vegetables would be the last thing, so we preserve a bit of that freshness mm. in them. Mm. But this is just steaming, so I guess that that Yes, would just happen. cool. So to what make type of vegetable is it? Shoko. Shoko, which is green. Yes. Or um, is that spinach? No. Spinach? Which is not so Shoko. Oh, tete is tete green. Tete, green. tete is green. Tete is green. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. Now, I've been looking at this... Uh, dadawa. Is that Dadawa? Locus beans, yes. yes. That what locus beans. Dadawa, locust beans, yeah. Iru. Yes. Iru, yeah, all of that. Yeah, okay, all right. That's a lot. It yeah. is a lot. So this is where the punch is going to come in. Oh, wow. But of course, it always comes with this very delicious taste, very traditional taste. Mm -hmm. As in, it's very... I lo always look forward to it. Um, what's this thing I always eat now? I can't remember the name. Oh, wow. But oh, it's always in there, what? and I love it. In fact, put it in anything, I'm going to eat it. Are you serious? Yeah, I love it. Oh, it, okay. it, that's the one we put in our father, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. The same. Definitely. That's yes. a special thing I always look forward to. Ooh. All right, so um, I have a little small fact to tell you about um, stockfish. Oh, okay. Did you know that stockfish actually is um, um, imported in all the way from Iceland? Or mostly from Iceland? Well, I've, I've heard that it's imported. I didn't know. And do you know how it's dried? Do I want to know? Yeah, you should. Okay, all it's, right. No, don't worry. It's good. It won't turn your stomach <laughs> or anything. So it's actually not dried. Oh, okay. Um, these are raw fish caught from the ocean and then they're put on stacks out in the open yeah. in the blistering cold. Oh. So it's cold. So it's dry. the cold, it's like that hamatan air that actually dries, dries out it. that moisture from it and wow. makes it what you eat, what you have now. So there's no process, nothing. So it's not it's heat just put dried. out to dry. It's not heat dried, unlike your um, smoked fish, of which you put over a That's fire right. yeah. and smoke out mm -hmm. the, the moisture. For this one, it's the ice, it's the cold weather, the cold uh, um, temperature. That's draws out the moisture. Interesting, actually. Yeah. So, so it's, it's dehydrated in the cold. Exactly, yeah. Interesting. And that was why it was very expensive back in the 80s because of the import from yeah. you know, yeah. the different yeah. country mm -hmm. uh, and all. But now I think it's how, how much is stockfish now? Is it, is it cheap? Or it's, is not it cheap it's, it's not cheap. It's still not cheap. It's still rich man's food. Yes. That's why it's expensive. It has to be <laughs> all the way from there. Mm. All the way to Nigeria, but still. We like and there's it. nowhere cold enough in Nigeria to get that. Eh? Oh, no, yeah. no, no. And it'll cost you a lot if you're going to do that process. Mm. Um, um, yeah. Um, what? Um, Local, not naturally. Locally, yeah. You know. Maybe using machines. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah. Chef, now, what are you doing? I'm removing it from the... So we're done. To remove the water. Yes. Yeah. Right. So the water. I didn't use the water for the... To what boil happened? the, to steam me, I just steam out the water from the vegetables. So there was no water in there? No, this no, is no. all from the vegetables? Yes. No, it's, it's, you're not yes. you're joking. Yeah, can we see that, that all can, can came we, out of the Can we take a look veggie. at that one? That's, can we that's, see? Oh, that's there a we. lot. Yeah, look at it. This came out of the vegetable. She didn't add any vegetable to it. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. I never knew you could do that. Mm. Uh, if I'm ever in the forest and dehydrated, just get a couple of greens. Yeah, exactly. Ones that are not poisonous. Salmonella. No, but um, you know what? Let's look forward to what else is going to go in that 
pot. Mm -hmm. uh, sm the dried fish has gone in. Now this is the pepper. This is stock fish. The, the stock fish. Stock, stock fish. Yes. Stock fish is in there. Now so the pepper mix goes in there. Fantastic. Boom. There you go. And that's right. the hmm. beginnings of your FRU. Yes. So we've managed to show you every single process here this morning. Nothing has been skipped, so you guys are in luck this morning. Watch out for the um, upload on YouTube where you should have the notification bell wrong so you can catch it again if you want to see the entire pro uh, process. For all you bachelors out there, by the way, mm -hmm. so that they won't come and say that you, you don't know how to cook. What do you bring <laughs> to the table? I can cook. Yay! <laughs> Tell you guys what, take a very short break inside the first hour here. We'll be back with more. Of course, we're going to keep you updated with everything happening inside of the kitchen. We'll be back. You're welcome. It is the second hour of Wake Up Nigeria for a Feel Good Friday here and indeed a very, very, very interesting intro here because I'll let you know in just about a bit. But you guys are welcome to the second hour for a Friday here for Wake Up Nigeria. Now, if you're just joining us, hey, yeah. <laughs> trust me, it's, it's good that you did. You're welcome. Personally. Now you've missed Appreciate quite it. a bit if you're just joining us, but not to worry, there's still quite a lot in store. So we need you to stick around, especially today. Yes, indeed. Now, we have had great conversations from before, some finger-licking delicacies coming through from inside the kitchen. Of course, we're going to be having beautiful music to serenade you guys, so just yeah. hang in there. And we would also be having our... Game Day! Our Film Good Friday. Something we're bringing back, something we enjoyed playing from before, so yeah. we say, hey, let's play it again. Yeah. This one last time. One last time? One last time. Yeah. <laughs> one last time for someone. We have quite a bit coming your way. We have the final pieces of The Greatest Show on Earth for this week. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's worth the wait. So stay right there. Absolutely. My name is Titilayo Oinson. And my name is Mazino Omamuzo Appeal. Mm -hmm. Had to let them have the full dose. Say the name again. Just say it again. One more time. It's Mazino for short. Maziakmano Omamuzo Ofo Appeal. Thanks for giving us the whole name. Yes, I had to. Well, that's not the whole one, but we'll do that one after. <laughs> it's Wake Up Nigeria, guys, for a Feel Good Friday the weekend starter edition here. And we are at that, uh, you know, pot of gold mm. period, end of the show, end of the rainbow. Mm. End of an era. End of an era. Thank you very much for joining all this while in Channel 16 on Go TV and also UHF 49. That's the terrestrial option. Also one to one for start times where my mother sees the show every single morning. Uh, yeah. And uh, she might continue, will continue to see it even after today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember, you can stream the show live. And if you have to move around, just check us out at tvcentertainment.tv and of course, facebook.com forward slash TVC Connect. Right. So let's let you guys know what exactly we're bringing you away. You're going to have to take this one all by yourself for some reason, please. Yeah, uh, loads of comments, contributions, and everything coming through. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. We can't wait to see them. And uh, yeah, uh, we have... I need to do all... <laughs> Just say it already. Uh, so this will be my last show on Wake Up Nigeria. Mm. It's been almost a thousand shows. Mm. Thousand episodes? Almost. Almost. Almost, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm holding back tears. Oh. So I wanted to say, and I'm going to try and keep it short, that when I started here three and a half years ago, I thought I was coming to a place where I had to work every single day. Okay. I never realized that I was going to wake up every day. And come to play. <laughs> and come to play? Are you actually really tearing up, Mazino? Are you kidding me right now? Mm. No, don't do that. Just hold it in. Hold it in. Hang on a second. All right. So... <laughs> Mike, help me out, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah, Mike, basically, um, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure with this guy. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's... Um, it's not every time you get this someone... Look, uh, I, I don't blow my trumpet so much, mm. but it's not every time you get this someone who is better than you in a number of things as good as you and you can learn from and all of that and that's the kind of person this uh, this dude is mm. it's been a pleasure all these three years working with him he's moving on and uh, you know we, we, I, you get you the memories you know i'm just thinking back now i'm i'm not one the memories have been uh, memories that i would not trade for anything or anything it's 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 been such a pleasure you know i'm already i was telling i was joking like i'm already tired ahead Wow. And this guy's not around. You know how yeah. much yeah. of a load that he 
takes off on takes up on the team, man. I'm thinking ahead of what I'm already tired ahead, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, just Mazino not so much appeal. to say, but yeah, the dude. Mazino, Mazino Appeal, uh, I met Mazino Appeal as the radio god. Um, and he was on the radio for so many years and nobody ever thought he was going to do TV and do it so well. Uh, voice over artist, voice actor extraordinaire, um, editor, mm. all round fun, happy-go-lucky guy, games master of life, yeah. script writer <laughs> of life. He writes the scripts for... Ran through them for seven of seven. He writes the scripts for, well, mostly for the black table topics. He also writes for Wake Up Nigeria. And um, beyond anything, um, you know that you're going to have a good time when Mazino is around. Reality Check is also going to miss you, Mazino. Oh, um, all all those voiceovers, who can you do? All those voiceovers. <laughs> you yeah. will be sending it to him. When is voiceover? How are you all well, going to cope? I, I, just look out for his motorcycle uh, wherever you are in Lagos or wherever you are around Nigeria because he's probably going to be globe trotting for a very yeah, long Yeah, when you see him, just Billy, tell him I said, <laughs> tell him I said to you. So, <laughs> thank you very much, guys. I think, uh, I think I've collected myself enough um, okay. all over again. So I, I was saying... Uh, joining Wake Up Nigeria, I thought it was going to be work. Mm. Uh, I didn't know that I was going to wake up every morning looking forward to coming back to the same people I argued with the day before. <laughs> uh, I've had a couple of uh, instances. I've, I've yelled at Juwon. <laughs> I've had a fallout it's, or it's two with M.M. With M -M. It's I had my biggest, my biggest fight with Mike here on the set. <laughs> Um, but yet, I was still so happy it's to wake up the back. next morning next and come morning, back yeah, here. I have yeah. not worked with a group of people that are any better than the group of people I work with Aww, here. I do, not, you know? I do not know if I'm going to have that experience ever again. Mm, mm. Uh, yeah. It's family. Yeah, it is. It's, it's been fantastic. Yeah. I, I believe in the Ekwe principle, which is mm. enter, perform, and exit. So an exit is always still a part of um, whatever um, endeavor that you go into in life. I entered, I met the greatest crop of people that you could meet in media. This has been so far the best media organization I've ever worked with. Wow. And I don't, I'm not, I'm not pretending. Mm. Welfare, oh. um, personalities, people, relationships, Salamide oh. man, I don't know how I'm going to survive without you. Oh. Uh, best man who uh, is our producer, used to be our producer for the, uh, Wake Up Niger, now producer yes. for uh, um, East Splash. We, we instituted something very interesting every Friday. We yeah. have a uh, club one. Club, club wake so, up Nigeria. So today is going to be the biggest club one, yeah. We're yeah. turning out club today. Wake up you know? at 10 a.m. And every Friday. Friday at 10 a.m. we gather together with a few, you know. Yeah. You can't say what it. <laughs> and we just have. We're a, turning out we today. just start our weekends from 10 a.m. on Fridays. It's it's. I'm going to miss it. I don't know who I'm going to meet, where I'm going. I will still, yeah. however, be in your faces, but yeah. perhaps maybe not just like this, but oh. I've enjoyed everybody's company from mm. Mr. Aremu. Are ah, we ready? Are we ready? <laughs> in my Aremu. ear every single morning <laughs> to Ms. Timitok, Mr. Timitok, who gives us coffee and all. <laughs> uh, Alaja, if you're there, thank you very much. Let me not forget Grandpa. Grandpa is... Uh, I mean, Frank, Grandpa is too uh, pestering me for his final scripts for 7 <laughs> 7. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to write it, but um, I'm going to try my best. To um, Zainab, thank you very much. Okwe, thank you. The ladies of Wake Up, uh, Make Up, um, Ada Inkiru, uh, Ramota, uh, um, oh. Aki, Tika, yeah. Mr. Sam. Who am I missing? Oh. Immigration, sorry. Imagination. <laughs> Chef T Flo. <laughs> I'm definitely going to miss yeah. every single. <laughs> Buddy here right. and Mike, feel free to uh, cry if you want to. No, no, I, 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 I wish I could. Don't make me the only person who cries. You see, yes, you see something right. someone said to me about releasing tears and all, but yeah. there are different times I wish I could. Even when, like, I've only cried in my life in school when it was pain, when I was beaten by somebody. But you see, I've tried to because I've, I've heard what it does to the body, yeah. but I feel that way, and it's been such a pleasure. I, I can't even look at me in the face, man. Mas but yeah, as let's. You, uh, as you go, you're going um, with the light of God ahead of you. Even in any space you're going to right now, even if there was darkness in that space, you will carry light in there such that the darkness cannot comprehend it. You will go and thrive. <laughs> you will go and shine. And we are going to miss you on Wake Up Nigeria. Why does this sound like Mommy Totland now? <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. It's been a blast. It's been grand. Mm -hmm. I've really enjoyed every single morning here. Uh, M.M., yes, I said thank you to you. M.M. is shouting in my ear. I mentioned your name, M.M.
<laughs> so I'm not Thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm, all the interviews at the end of the show so that you can continue to talk. He's even going to I I am going to talk. I'm going to miss MM I'm going to miss talking uh, I'm talking rubbish about you behind your back. Uh, <laughs> and it's not because you don't do behind me. You think about what comes that whatever we say behind we will say to you. I can hear yeah, exactly. But so it's, it's, it's all funny. behind the front. Um, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much, guys. Thank mm. you very much, Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you, TVC. It's been fantastic. I can't wish for a better crop of people or experience. Um, three and a half years wasn't a waste. I've absolutely mm. enjoyed every single one. Coming up on a thousand shows, mm. uh, every celebration. Yeah. Funny thing, it's going to be my birthday on Sunday. Uh, so I, I think I'm shifting on all levels on the new ground. But um, oh, thank you for Larry. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. All right. After yeah. putting it together, let's introduce to you our final guest for the show today. Finally joining us is Mae Okanigwe. She's an actor, model, and also presenter who has featured in stage plays, short films, feature films, and also TV series. Yes. And, of course, mm -hmm. various roles. Mm -hmm. May you are welcome. Thank you very much for having me. I was I'm telling you. Excited to be here. Yeah, you're not as excited as I am. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep the focus on you in any case. I was telling you how symmetric your face is, actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. I find that very hard to believe because I feel like this side is very chubby and this side is slimmer. Really? No, it's, it's... So which is your best side, in your opinion? That one? Ah, really? the one with the dimple. The dimple! <laughs> the dimple wins every time. Welcome. Good to have you here on the show. Thank you for having me. So, uh, honestly, uh, whenever we meet actors and we hear that they've done stage, we're always interested in finding out, you know, the difference for them. You know, which one would they rather do? Is it stage or screen? Because uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, mm -hmm. stage idiosyncrasies that yeah, you creep don't into have. screen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you this very weird story. When I first came to Lagos after studying theatre arts in school, I was like, oh, okay, I can act now. Mm. And then I tried to go for a film audition. I wasn't getting picked, and I didn't get why. Wow. Okay. So I had to take a step back and learn the difference between acting for stage and mm. acting for screen. So mm -hmm. in on stage you have the larger than life, you know, you you project, you mm -hmm. use your whole body, you are exaggerated most of the time. Mm -hmm. But for screen you have to just tone it down and mm. you know it's real life. So it's basically just mm -hmm. you just acting like you, being yourself or being a person uh, that exists. Which one's easier though, being on stage or being on? Uh, they both uh, have their challenges. So so. I would say stage to an extent because you have the long rehearsals mm. and then memorizing all your lines and before no, show day. And there's no avenue take for two. Exactly. So you have yeah. to do everything once. But for screen, you, sometimes you get your script that very morning and then yeah. you have to go and say, you, on, you have to do it mm -hmm. right there. But, but they often say that stage actors overact when they get on screen. Have you ever had anyone tell you that? Yeah, that's one of the issues I had when I started. So okay. I had to learn the difference between acting for stage and acting for screen. Okay. Mm. So for when you're acting for screen, you have to just be a person. Mm. So as I'm talking to you now, this is how I would act for screen. But if I was going to go for theater, I'll be like, oh, Exaggerated. and so that was how I went to the, and you know, it has to be way louder than that. Yeah, you're also a model as well. Yes, I do. And that's easier than being an actress? Hmm. Yeah, kind you of. You have to be in one place anyway, it look beautiful. I mean, that must be easy. But I have seen models on stage collapse. So oh. that's why I'm thinking that it's, it has to be really tough being a yeah, model Yeah, you just as well. have to find the balance and then you know, make sure you are fit for what you need to do. Prepare mm -hmm. and always be prepared for everything mm -hmm. physically. Speaking of being prepared, uh, I know that there's a project that's out right now on, is it Showmax? It's currently on Showmax. It's it showed on Showcase and then Urban. Oh. So it's a film that was done by multi-choice fa talent factory students oh, back okay. then last year. Mm -hmm. So it was their final project and it was just a beautiful story. So when I was approached to do this, I was just, wow. So mm -hmm. you, you hear of stories that People are scared to tell okay. because the message is so strong and delicate. You know, there are certain things they don't talk about in society. That mm -hmm. so everybody knows about it, mm -hmm. but nobody really talks about it. Okay. So that's one of the issues that was addressed in the story. So her dark past mm -hmm. is currently showing. Her dark past. That's her what it's dark. called. Okay. Her, da her dark past. Yes. Wow. So I want to give us a little so you inkling. you need to tell us. I want to know exactly what, how dark her past was. What is so what? dark? And oh, come on. No, no, don't give me that. Give me something real. <laughs> 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 Give me something real, real tangible. Okay, what, what so could it be? it's a story of Tosin Mosu, currently Tosin Mosu, who had a bad past, let me mm. put it that way. So she experienced a lot and she ran away from that and okay. started a new life. Okay. But you know, whatever you run away from eventually will come back and mm -hmm. haunt you. Mm. Nothing can ever be truly completely hidden. Mm -hmm. So that's what said coming out and all the secrets are coming out one after the other. So it's like after I've surmounted this one, okay, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Another wow. one comes up. So. Wow. wow. In your life, 
did you find yourself drawing any samples from anything the likes that has happened in your life? Like perhaps maybe you've had something in the past mm. that came back to haunt you. And how did that add to the quality of character that you put in that okay, show? Okay, so I, I played Tosin Wons' sister, Morayo. Oh, so, okay. And the character is nothing like me. Mm. So oh. it, was a ch it was a challenge, but it's sweet because I love challenges. So I was the younger sister who had to become somebody because mm. the sister took, ran away, basically. Wow. So I had to... It was a very emotional one for me. It was mm. so emotional. So I had to dig really deep to get, you know how your whole life was transformed because of one person's action. Mm -hmm. But you love this person. It's your sister. You can't, you can't hate your sister. Mm -hmm. So all that emotion had to play out in our conversations and every time I came forward. So yes, it was. Mm. <laughs> so then uh, taking a script like this on, um, was it a, a, an immediate yes for you or did you have to really think about it? Because it was an, Immediate yes. Immediate yes. yes. Why? Why? Because I, I read it and I was like, okay, I have to be in this story. Mm. You no, know, there's some stories you just see and you're like, this needs to be told. Okay. So when we had the first script reading before the film itself, everybody was silent when we're done. I was like, mm. wow, we okay. need to tell this story. Mm. So yes, it was an immediate yes for me. It was beautiful. It's I. You have to go see it. We yeah. will. Uh, definitely we will. Definitely, definitely will. will. So. <clears throat> What next for you after being yeah. a fantastic actor yourself? <laughs> now, I know the trend that follows is that people go on into being um, a producer, director, yeah. then executive producer. Yeah. And there's a lot of you guys who are fantastic out there. Mm. But what is your plan to standing away, standing out from the rest when it's eventually that time for you to rise and become a producer of a film or a movie or a show or, so, or something? What's your special ingredient? What are we looking for? Okay, so I've already started diversifying. Okay. So I've always been a very creative person. So everything in the creative space kind of appeals to me. Um, so I do a little bit of photography, mm. videography. Interesting. <laughs> I, I, I present a show as well. Um, I also do the acting, the modeling, and then I also direct a show. Mm. So yes, you just have to make sure that you, you keep building on your creativity. Make sure it always stands out and always shines through because I know these creative people, if you keep us in a box for too long, yeah. you go crazy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Literally. So you just have to keep finding new ways to express your creativity at every point with every new venture you, you tap into. Talking about that box, was there ever maybe a family member or, or you know, someone in your life that tried to sort of box you in? Uh, and the reason I ask this is because many new young actors um, you know, have the advantage of social media. But mm -hmm. back in the day, mm -hmm. parents yeah. were not interested. They weren't having it. Mm -hmm. Tell us that story. So I was one of the lucky ones. Okay. I had supportive parents. Mm -hmm. Not so much from people around, because they were like, why would an intelligent girl like you go and be studying theatre arts? Wow, so you actually studied it full on. Yeah, okay. I, they said, go become a lawyer. You can always act. Oh, actors are promiscuous. Don't do this, don't do that. So I was one of the few lucky people that had um, a very supportive family. My father was always like, if this is what you want to do, and you're sure Don't you're going to put it. in the work, because it's a lot of work, then do it. Are actors Aww. really promiscuous? You just uh, said that. Mm. No, that's what that's the misconception. But a lot you're of in industry, have. are they? They're not. No, people they are. are generally. You have people in every work of life mm. that are promiscuous, mm. Mm. not just actors. But the issue is that actors, our lives are basically out there. So yeah, you so get the to whole see world can see you. But people are doing things that you wouldn't even know about. <laughs> you can't see them. So. I agree with you. I agree with you. The same, the same nuance for being uh, on TV is well. Exactly. So I, I... And people feel like they know you even when they've yeah. never met you. Come up to you and they expect you to absolutely know them, but you're like, I, I really don't know you. Yeah. Uh, it's you very difficult, what? but... And as you know, I think mm -hmm. there's probably a story or two oh, there uh, from Trust me, I've got, a, yeah, I've got a dozen. Yeah. A dozen of these. I wish we could hear them the next That's not my banter. interview. It's, hey, let's talk no to Nick. No <laughs> All right. Oh. I know. We'll talk in any case, no problem. We will, we will. It's been great having you. Mm -hmm. Are you up for something to eat? Yes, you are, definitely. We're going to be giving you what we've been cooking inside the kitchen. But before Trust that... It's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. It is, isn't it? Before that, we're going to put you to the test and see how intelligent you are when it comes really? to fun stuff. Yes, sir. Okay. Nothing too hard, no jam here. Uh, you're going to be playing our games with us, so stick around, everybody, because coming up, it's going to be... Game Day! The very last time. That's a good one to hear. <laughs> yes, and... Welcome back, and once again, please make it work. It's... Game Day! Thank you very much, and we're bringing back a game that we actually love. It's, uh, it's, it's just, let's just call it a shuffle. Mm. We played us the other time, and shuffle. Mike was our umpire, and we yeah, had shuffle. So... Yeah. I mean, I, I, I love, I love, ah! it didn't ah! see <laughs> I just saw the cups on the... Oh, I'll, I'll switch it. I'll I wasn't switch supposed it. to see the cups. I'll switch yeah. it. So I'll switch if it. someone can help turn the monitor away... No, don't worry, I'll switch it. Yeah, turn the monitor. We don't want to see the monitor. We don't want yeah, anybody to Fantastic. That's okay. grand. Grand. <laughs> grand. Okay. So, May, 
You, are, you, you get the idea? Okay. Uh, oh, maybe let's do a simulation, okay, right? So mm. Simulation. Okay, so let's do a simulation. Shuffle so. the cups under. Mm. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Mazino, you go for the simulation. So, all right. How many seconds do I have? Uh, so I'll just start it and let's see the person that can get it the fastest. Okay, so all right. tell, all right, me, when so good, tell right. me when I'm good, yeah. tell me when I'm bad. How many? Uh, none. None. One. Hmm. Uh, two now. Oh, wow. No, back to one. Yeah, two. Uh, no, no, Scatter, yeah, two. How many? No, 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 yeah, two. And one of these two, one of these five. Uh, <laughs> yeah, come on. That's it! Oh! <laughs> that's it, that's it. That's 30 that's it. seconds, so I've set the so five. So you see how it goes? Yeah. So I kind of like help. I'm going to move in the middle. Just to tell you move one or two and all of that. All but right. Basically, that's the idea. So 30 right? seconds is the time to beat, yeah? Yeah. Fantastic. So let's, uh, it's like a memory thing. You just have yeah. to try and uh, ah. know where the... <laughs> I, I got better since the last time. Yeah, he did. Yeah, because yeah, I went back and saw like the videos. Two hours to get... Okay, so, May, do you want so, to go first or do you want it to no, go no, first? No, no, you let me go first. Okay, yeah. May, you want to go first? Right, right, right. right. Yes. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? All right, set. All right, May, your time. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. Hold on. wait. Okay. All right. Uh, that would you be just hit that on you. That would be my idea. Aha, let me do that. All right. All right. May. Your time starts now. Go. No, none. Ah. None. Ah. None. You have to be calculated. None. It's a memory thing. It's a memory thing. One. One. Thing. One. Uh, one. One. Ah. So don't touch that. One. Ah. Two. Two. No, back to one. Mm -mm. Go back, go back. Yes, yes, two. Good, now I know the two that are. And uh, that is it. How many, how many, how many? Uh, 30 seconds uh, again. Uh, 30 uh, seconds uh, again. 30 seconds. So you have to beat 30 seconds. You have to beat 30 good. seconds. Good. If you get it at 25, then I have to beat 25. Oh, so let's keep going. Let's keep shuffle good. the ones under, shuffle the ones under. That was good. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> that, wow. was good. that was good. That was fun. good. Yeah, that right. That's good. <laughs> he okay. has a, a, a history of always losing on the games. Oh, can you right. please take that back? <laughs> it's your final chance to take it back. Let's take go. it back. She, she, she wins once in a while. Let's go. Yeah, I will. <laughs> but you did well with this one last right. time, didn't you? All right, yeah, she did well the last your time. Your time starts now. Hmm. None. Hmm. None. Really? One. Still two. Hmm. 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 None. Mm. Whoa. Two. Mm. I knew it. And that's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. How many? <laughs> Twenty-five seconds. seconds. I will beat okay, let me Twenty-five seconds. seconds. Wait, okay, okay. Yeah, Mazin has to go now because I that first one was a simulation. Seconds, yes. ah, that first one was a simulation. This one should wow. not come and draw my hand. No. That's it. That's it. All right, all right, all right. Twenty-five seconds, huh? All right, okay, all right. Let's seconds. go. Imagine your time right. starts now. One. Two. Mm. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, one. <laughs> one, two. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Two, 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 Okay, let me try. Let me try. You guys try. Let me 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 try. Two. Mm. None. Ah. Two. Wow! Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, May, May, May. May, can you beat 12 seconds? Can you beat 12 seconds? I don't know. Okay, Mike, rearrange the ones on top. Rearrange the ones on top, Mike. Ah. My head just lost there. Ah. That was fast. Yeah, that was fast. That was very fast. I think you just have to know Deduction. which is which. I wish we had six Deduction. cups. No. Yeah, that would be more complicated. Oh, exactly, no. it would take time. All right. All right.
Uh, let, let me see, let me see. Okay, fantastic. Are you ready? Mm. You ready, May? Your time starts. You've got 12 seconds. Okay, let's just give you, let's just give you the regular 30. No. So that you do... Uh, okay, 12 seconds. If you beat 12 seconds, then we end the game. And your time starts now. None. None. One. Two. Wow. 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 Nine seconds. <laughs> Nine seconds! See? Wow! Oh. No, you know what? Oh. It's clear that you're the winner, but oh. like I said, she has a very bad history. Oh. So let, let's oh. let Titi go she one more time. Redeem you can't beat nine. Future, you can't beat nine. Nine seconds. You can't beat nine. Nine seconds. Nine. Wow, May? What does that even mean? Nine. May. Nine seconds. That is fantastic, like, how did you... May. Ah. Nine seconds. How, okay. how, how, how would you do that? Okay. All right. all right, all right, all right. Mm. Mike, what's your okay. password? Reset. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so yeah. All right. All right. Ah. You ready? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Time to redeem yourself. If you do it in nine seconds, you see, I'll carry you up today. No. Oh, I, will, no. I will lift oh, you. Why are you trying to discourage will, me from will, doing this uh, fast? What's your husband's name? I will bay, I will bay, bay me. No. I will bay me. No, just to stop. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? Got nine seconds. Your time starts now. None. One. One. The two, 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 two. Mm, one. Ah, come on, come on. It's 14 seconds already. None. No. You missed. No. One. No way. None. Ah, ah, kilo de mazino is a lie. None. Is it one, 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 is it one. Go back, go back, go back. You had one. Is it go lie? back, one. Wow. What? Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't You gave up a bit too early there. Yeah. Know, you missed it. It was already 30 seconds. You in any it case, it was. Yeah, when it was two, there was green here and the picture uh, was there. It, it, yeah. it, you know, the fun thing is, you are our winner for today at 9 seconds, yeah. followed by myself at 14 seconds. Uh, I what is that? I did no, he 12. got 12. You, he got 12. No, 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 I got... He got 12. Nine, I got... I don't well, know. 12, 12. 12. I came know. in third. And what did I say at the start of the game? Ah! Really? Pity, of course, has it. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> I can't be oh. today because you can't do oh. to me from next All right, mate. Please so you guys watch. Okay. Let's bring me over to the kitchen. Woohoo! Come on over. Right. Come on over, mate. Come on over. <laughs> Welcome back inside the kitchen where we have a foriru and your choice of whether swallow or rice. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is you're going to have, but Chef Tiflo has put together this Ooh. fantastic looking vegetable soup, a foriru, special a foriru. She didn't tell us what one of the ingredients was. <laughs> mm. However, I, uh, if you're going to eat rice, you must eat that bulb of pepper. Oh. <laughs> I mean, why is it there? It's just no, no. good. No, 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 no. Just you must eat it. <laughs> really? Really? So really which, no which are you going to go for? Which one? Fufu or rice? Which one? It's so hard to choose. So hard. It looks so. The fufu just, looks so fresh. Just, just take the fufu. Just take the fufu. The fufu, the fufu looks like. Mm. I know, right? Yes. I know, right? Go ahead. So give it a try. Tell us what it tastes like because we'd right. really love to know. Um, oh, do you mind using ah. your hand? No, no, oh. no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Eh. It's very, more it's fufu time. just has. Fufu has. Oh, wow. Well. Just been the right swallow. Oh, I can still see oh, those vegetables God. and peppers and everything in Ooh. there. Looks Why is this bamboo here? Mm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice, yeah? Oh, this is nice. Ah, this she's going nice. back for just she's a second. Going in now. for oh more. God. That's the whole idea. Chef T Flo, mm. we yeah. appreciate mm -mm. you. Mm -mm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> All ah. right, then. So, Mazino. Uh, oh, you're giving me the honors once again? Yes. I will do this outro. with no tears in my eyes this time. Yeah. Once again, would like to say for the final time, it's been a great show for a Friday. Thank you very much for joining us all week long indeed. Thank you for joining us all three and a half years that I have been here. Thank you for all the good comments on social media, all the advice, every single thing, even the bad ones. We do read them and we take samples from them. Um, I, it doesn't end here. Um, I will still be in your faces somewhere, someplace. Mm -hmm. You'll find out eventually. I'm going to miss everybody, including you guys who We'll come up every morning at 7 a.m. to join us. Mike. Yep. Thank you. It's no, no, it's not pleasure. a goodbye. Not that kind of goodbye. Okay. Okay. It's been okay. a great one, man. Yep. Nice yeah. one, Chef T-Flow. Nah. Titi. No. Oh,
Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming okay, okay. And for our special All guest right. today who joined us for the games, you were fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you so I'm glad everybody. It. All right. Now, for one last time, Mike, take it away. We will see you on Monday. I'm already feeling future headache. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, everybody. It's been Have a good a great one. Have a weekend. <laughs> bye. Bye.